We're calling March Women's Month. That's just what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to part two. I'm gonna dive into some fabulous feminine fragrance and layering combinations, which I think work beautifully with Venus in celebration of International Women's Day, Mother's Day this Sunday, Women's History Month, and it's also Endometriosis Awareness Month. It is the ultimate women's month, I'm calling it. So of course, Venus is the scent that represents feminine energy. And I've got some really cool fragrancing combos, which work beautifully for different types of feminine energy and feminine vibe. I've got a soft, light femme combo, a dark, more seductive femme combo, a nurturing, maternal, clean aesthetic femme combo and then just an ultimate fruity fun femme combo so let's dive in so, i've got my venus here our gorgeous baby girl venus look at the dent in that bottle that's no joke right oof let's just spritz out with some venus mmm that'd be love so first combo yara baby i've got a small 50 ml bottle this fragrance is all the hype on TikTok. If you haven't heard about Ayara, where have you been? It's an Arab fragrance by Ard Al Zafran. And I had to get my hands on it, didn't I? It's a lovely fragrance. On its own, it's flirty, fun, soft girl energy, I call it. It's got strawberry kind of gourmand fruity berry accord it's got a vanilla feel to it it's airy it's got a floral kind of veil running through but yara with venus is elevated honey oh so good now this combination pushes out a coconut note i think venus it does have coconut in the opening but when this blends with other fragrances it really does push the coconut note oh I'm getting coconut, a warm powdery musk, berries, cherries, berries, raspberries, strawberries, that kind of mm, gourmandy, berry-like centre, almost giving a kind of compote vibe, vanilla-y, veil of floral. You get a jasmine, I feel like there's a little bit of white flower in there. Venus does have some hyacinth and um, Peony, it's obviously got the rose. I do pick up the rose. Most certainly pick up the rose. This is beautiful. Rosy, femme, it's very much soft, light feminine vibes. You know, soft girl energy. It's inoffensive. It's sweet. This combo is everything. Love it. Next combo is our more dark, seductive, sultry, feminine energy vibe. Another Arab fragrance from the house of Ard Al Zafran, Bint Horan. This is another one that is pretty viral. Um, again, I got the small bottle. It's kind of sexy. Oh, it's known to be a dupe of Good Girl by Carolyn Herrera. This scent is, to me, very ambery. Oh. Sweet ambery is kind of the initial character I get. Have to blend with some Venus, of course. Oh, now that is interesting. You get freshness, woodsy notes, ambery notes, floral notes. This is such a complex fragrance it's not overly complex it's beautiful but it's got like a complexity to it bint horan really is quite an oriental fragrance it's got an ambery body to it but there's also like a freshness and a spicy warm sweet almost gourmand element to it too and blended with venus i think i'm smelling more of the kind of the wood comes through there's a woodsy kind of warm base element to this fragrance which gives it body but also the freshness comes through more i think maybe the bergamot in venus 
on its opening is pushing out the fresher facets of Bint Horan. There is a rush of vanilla and there is a heart of jasmine. Jasmine is the main floral note in Venus and I'm picking up jasmine in hit Bint Horan. Definitely beautiful. It really does bring that floral out. So it's, it's giving me oriental floral, resinous, amber with kind of spicy freshness to it. Very sexy. So this is our more dark, seductive, feminine vibe. I'm also getting hints of cocoa. So there is a cocoa note in the Bint Haran and obviously the cacao in Venus. We get in like a woody kind of cocoa. Oh, very nice fragrance. Definitely something you could wear out to something upscale like a fancy dinner if you were going out on a club night or even to like a fancy wedding like it's definitely more yeah out on the town kind of vibe and this will this combination will get attention this will get people asking what are you wearing is that kind of a scent i'm definitely getting the almond as well there is a marzipan sweet almond note in Venus and I'm sure there's an almond note in this because I'm definitely getting almond. Not overly, not overly nutty though, but just kind of like the sweet facets of almond. Really nice. Okay, this combo is a little bit of a different one. This is what would be considered maybe like quite a nurturing, maybe maternal kind of scent. I think this could be a nice combo for mummy and baby or a mother who's maybe not long had her baby and wants to feel fresh and comforted at home. Something inoffensive. This fragrance by Bulgari, Petit et Maman, I think that's how you pronounce it, is the perfect mummy baby scent. Um, it's kind of an inoffensive combo that I think would be ideal for, I feel like it would be really good for like, it's a mummy baby combo. This fragrance was designed for mother and baby. Um, it has, I think the alcohol, con it says that it's alcohol free. I think there might be an alcohol content in here, don't quote me, but just from the ingredients, it looks like there is. But I think it's a softer formulation that would be completely safe for babies it can be used for babies from three years old onwards and this on mummy will not be likely to cause any issues with irritation or anything and this would be a very inoffensive calming scent for a mother to wear maybe around the house maybe for a mother who's just given birth and wants something inoffensive to wear around the house but that also wants to feel clean and fresh and revitalized and comforted this is a beautiful, I feel like it's a clean musk scent, but not a heavy musk. It's a powdery baby musk. It's got notes of, I can smell like a chamomile, calming, a soft calming chamomile, baby powder. I think there's some kind of a peach or nectarine note I'm picking up. It's just a beautiful, clean, light, bright scent. It smells like skin, like, it's got that kind of baby skin smell to it. It's so nice. And you can obviously zhuzh up a little bit with Venus. If you want to elevate a little bit the scent and bring out those powdery masks and a bit more of a vanilla. There is a nice warm vanilla in this, but this Bulgari Petit and Maman's fragrance is actually a bit of a dark horse. It's a really nice, pleasant scent. It's soothing, it's comforting. Yeah, definitely sweeten it up with a bit of Venus if you want something a little bit more elevated, but it's a beautiful combo. Perfect, very nurturing vibes. Feels very warming and just comforting and inviting and it, it, it makes you feel kind of safe. It's that kind of comforting scent. So love this fragrance combo different kind of feminine vibes, more like nurturing vibes. Final scent combo is going to be, I guess our ultimate feminine fragrance layering combo. Pomegranate Musk by Ithra. This is also Ard El Zafran, um, an Arab fragrance with Eden Sparkling Lychee by Kayali with Venus. 
This combo is something else, let me tell you. So we'll start with a spritz of the Sparkling Lychee. This was a Kayali scent that came out just before Christmas. They surprised us. Sweet, soft girl scent. Beautiful in its own, very sweet, sugary, ambery undertones. Definitely giving like fun, flirty, pretty girl scent, you know? Then, Pomegranate Musk by Ithra Dubai. I love this scent. I actually love the whole musk collection. But the pomegranate one is definitely giving girly vibes and feminine vibes. Okay. And then we're going to top up, of course, with Venus. This combo is so beautiful. It is rich, feminine, fruity, musky. It's ambery, vanilla-y. But it's complex. It's not like an in-your-face amber. It's kind of like an in-the-background kind of ambery feel, which would make sense because we've got amber in the uh, sparkling lychee and in Venus. I'm just getting fruity. We've got the sparkling lychee and I think there's like some, I think there's some black currant. I think there's, I'm getting, oh. Oh, it's just so nice. Okay, again, the coconut's coming through with Venus. Cherry, I'm getting black currant, lychee, pomegranate. I'm kind of getting red fruits but not in the same way as the first Yara combination. That was a bit more like sweet, berry, berry. This is a bit more like juicy, apple, biting into a fruit. I think the Yara one was given a little bit more compote, like maybe like sugared fruits. This is giving fresh fruits and vanilla, amber, florals. But it's deeper it's more deep it's definitely like your fun flirty feminine ultimate feminine fragrance you can go out and have a great time wearing this whether you're going out on a day event or a night event this is universal you can wear this out to a brunch a lunch meeting with friends you can wear this to a festival a concert you can wear this to church you can wear this to a wedding and a fancy dinner it's just ultimate girly it's ultimate feminine it's like oh this scent combination, I don't know anyone that just would be like, I don't like it. Like, it's sweet, but it's not cloying. It's not like, oh, it's so sugary sweet. It's got this beautiful sweetness to it, but the ambery vanilla tones gives a sensuality, uh, but it's also fun. The powdery mask gives a kind of very chic element to it too. I love, this is my favorite combo of them all because it's kind of complex, diverse, multifaceted, and it can perform across so many different occasions. This is the ultimate feminine combination. So I hope you've enjoyed these layering combos. They all work amazingly with Venus. So these are definitely some fragrance combos to try when Venus is out and released to you all. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I hope you enjoy Women's Month. I'll be celebrating International Women's Day with my sisters, which seems very fitting. So I hope you guys have a great time and I can't wait to see you in the next video. The release of Venus is soon upon us. I got the final packaging of our boxes cemented last week and I'm so excited. Can't wait for you guys to experience Venus. It's coming soon, guys, I promise. But until then, stay tuned with all updates. I've got a new blog post coming out this month also, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And I'll be back with a new video really soon. I hope you guys have a great week and enjoy International Women's Day, Mother's Day, Women's Month. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, guys. Bye.